fish? What is up vlog? Okay, so in today's vlog, I'm specifically doing one thing and one thing alone, and that is showing you guys and kind of reviewing the Dyson Airwrap. Let me grab it. This, my friends, is the Dyson Airwrap. This may be single-handedly the most revolutionary hair product I have ever witnessed or tried or experienced or had or whatever, and I've been waiting for this product to come for so long. Um, I did a little thing with Dyson like a month ago where I went to an event that they put on, and I fell in love with the Airwrap. This is not sponsored. I'm literally just obsessed and I wanted to show you guys. I suck at doing hair. Like, or if I'm doing hair, it just takes me a really long time. I can't just like blow dry my hair and be good. I have to like straighten it and then curl it and it just puts so much heat on my hair and it damages it even more than it needs to be damaged. And it's just too much and it takes too long. So basically the point of the air wrap is that it can dry your hair and curl it. Like give yourself a blowout at the same time. <sighs> It's crazy. So, so first I definitely wanna like prep my hair. I like to use this John Frieda Frizzies, but basically just use whatever products you would use. Okay, well, I'm out of this, so never mind. Not bad. I'm gonna use the good stuff leave-in conditioner. So I actually don't put conditioner in my hair in the shower anymore. I actually just put it on after. So this is like a leave-in one. So I'm just gonna put that all over. Just low-key balding, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I definitely go overboard with product, but whatever hair's really dry so it can handle it then i like to put like more of a serum for like shine so i'm gonna use this one it's by fanola it smells so good a little bit of this makes it super soft and nice okay i'm gonna brush it out which i don't really need to show you because it's pretty easy also guys i got the blow dryer also from them and i'm actually gonna gift it to my mom she uses a blow dryer a lot and she'll actually use it I don't need the blow dryer because the air wrap has a blow dry attachment and I just feel like it's all around better because I can style it, my hair and like curl it and stuff. So I think if you have to decide between the blow dryer and the air wrap, 1000% do the air wrap. It is literally amazing. I can't even believe it. I look like a clam. <laughs> okay, um, before I actually start using it, I'm gonna show you, give you a little Dyson box tour. Okay, let's do it. So here's the box it comes in. It's this nice leather and you open it up and here it is. So this is the actual like part that you use that you plug in. So you plug in this part, like this is the blow dryer attachment. So this is what you're getting if you just get the blow dryer. So here's the blow dryer attachment. Then we have two sizes of barrels and they each have like two because basically you want the direction to be pointing a different way for each side of your head. We have one that's a little bigger. And then these are brushes for like straightening. I forget the difference between the two of these. One is like thicker. This one's like thicker and doesn't really move. And the other one moves. I forget what that means, but whatever. And then for everyone who just likes a good traditional blowout, we have the traditional round brush. But I personally feel like I'm not as good at using these and this does the same exact thing. So I'm just gonna show you what we do. First things first, we have to basically dry our hair enough so that it's just damp. So it's not like incredibly wet. So I'm just gonna plug this in. First, I'm gonna put on the dryer attachment. So as you can see, there's like a little lock and unlock thing here. If you literally just like put this on the top of it, it'll lock automatically. And then to release it, you would push the button down. So. We have that on. And then you have basically three knobs right here that are for the fan power and three right here that are for the heat. So I just have it on the highest heat and the highest fan power. And then you just turn it on by going like this. So I'm just gonna dry my hair. Even the dryer part is like so much less hot than most dryers and it's just like, makes my hair way smoother it's not like damaging it i can just tell i forgot to put on deodorant after my shower whoops okay so i think my hair is a pretty good damp i could maybe do it a little bit more you don't need it to be like super dry but just you know dry enough i'll maybe just run it on this side for like 30 more seconds Here's what we do now. We brush it out. Okay, so then I'm just gonna divide it into sections. And put this section up. All right, so then we're gonna switch the attachment from the drying one to one of the barrels. I prefer the smaller barrels. So basically you want the arrow to be pointing away from your head. So see like this is pointing away. So first I'm gonna start on this side. Gonna put this thing in. And then basically the strategy here is you take a small piece, 
you hold it out actually i'll just show you it does definitely like need to be a small piece which is kind of you know can be a little more time consuming but it's still just so quick so i take my small piece i'm going to turn this on okay you hold it on the outside and you literally just hold it in and then you hold it for like however many seconds until it's dry then you push up and it'll activate the cooling one you wait till the hair is cool and then you take it down and you just pull it out and literally look at that curl so it curls it very well and if you want the curl to, to stay tighter you would like dry it for longer but i like to kind of have this blowout look so literally that's all you do i'll do some more it's crazy Okay, so now I've done the whole first side and obviously it looks crazy because it basically comes out in like ringlet curls. I'm not gonna do this yet, but once I finish the other side, I'm gonna like run my fingers through all of it and actually brush it and it looks amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side right now. Woo, okay, so now both sides are done. So now I'm gonna run my fingers through it because obviously we're not trying to look like a poodle, but like even just that, it dried and curled my hair. I just love that it gives it more of the blowout look rather than just like the tight curls look. And especially if you brush it out, it like really does the blowout look. Like what? And okay, I might have done my bangs a little bit too much. I don't want to look like I got a perm, but like what? Look at it. Okay, like that's insane. And the more the curls kind of like fall over the course of the day and even tomorrow, the more it looks like a blowout and not just curled. But I also want to emphasize that like there's not that much heat being used. So you're not damaging your hair as much as you would be if you were blow drying it with a traditional blow dryer and then curling it. That would just be like a lot of heat. I'm going to go put makeup on because I always feel like a naked mole rat when I just do my hair and don't have makeup on. So for context, here's my hair now with makeup on cute right i'm still deciding if i love like the middle part look or if i want to go back to my side one because i feel like this is like a lot but you know it's still cute and i can kind of do either yeah i've been getting so many compliments on it when i use this and i'm like they're like oh my god did you get a blowout and i'm like nope i literally just used the dyson hair wrap <laughs> oh my god well, apparently that's how I ended the vlog. I didn't actually end it, so I'm gonna end it right now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what you think of the Dyson or if you have it, but I, yeah, I just think it's pretty dang cool. I like it. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.